So it's been a tough few days for Boda Boda riders across the country. It is unlikely to change in the next few weeks, with the National Police Service saying all Boda Boda riders will have to be retrained. A task force formed by the government to reform the sector in the country is on Monday expected to relay the framework for reforms that will take 60 days. Boda Boda operators have been asked to man up as the painful reforms that are expected to weed out rogue operators with in the sector get underway. At the Nairobi Central Police Station, the parking space looked like a used motorcycle's yard. Border borders nabbed for violating various traffic offenses have been brought here, and they are many. Every minute, more and more motorcycles are being brought in. From passenger ones to those operating courier services, it is a picture replicated in most police stations. Since the crackdown began three days ago, following an incident where female motorists were sexually assaulted by rock border border riders. The nationwide crackdown has hugely affected delivery services like food. The National Police Service is moving forth to enforce uh, regulations and clause that have been there, legislation, in order to bring order, to bring sanity. The crackdown is expected to continue as government works on reforming the sector to weed out rogue operators within the sector. A task force formed by the government is expected to announce reform guidelines on Monday next week. This is a multi-sectoral uh, collaborative engagement whereby the National Police Service is engaging uh, with other partners, we have the Ministry of Interior, we have the transport sector itself, we have the Boda Boda uh, uh, leadership engaged, we have the NTSA. Operators who have been protesting the crackdown taking on the police have been asked to cooperate. The law enforcers say it will take a ruthless 60 days of reforms implementation. Operations at times, they might be punitive in a way because we want to make sure that certain things are are corrected and based on this what i would advise anyone in this sector is once the government communicates the modalities after the task force the committee that has been put in place by the cabinet secretary after it communicates the modalities i'd urge everyone to come up and be able to embrace this because these are the new regulations and without these new regulations it will be difficult for someone to operate the police acknowledge that a majority of operators in the sector are good urging them to be patient and to take advantage of the reforms period. Before we break out of the 60 days, it is imperative that uh, as many people take advantage within the very first days. At times Kenyans, we want to wait until the last minute, but because this sector also depends on our livelihoods, can we take advantage of it before the lapse of the 60 days when maybe new guidelines will be given and maybe they could end up not being favorable to certain persons. Border border operators will be required to undergo competency trainings be headed by TVET in institutions and the National Youth Service. They will also have to re-register and have smart licenses within 60 days, as well as vetting of all riders to ensure all are in circles. Meanwhile, a section of Boda Boda operators today held a prayer session at the Wangari Mathai Road, where the sexual assault incident happened on Friday last week. Hapa tumekucha maombi na kuomba msamaha serikali yetu ya Kenya iturumie. Sisi kama sisi wengine tuko na mapikipiki za maloni na roni bado inaendelea kutudai. The riders while asking for forgiveness say all they want is to get back to business.